हेलो साई राम स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड एंजॉइंग यूर ऑनलाइन स्टडीज सो विच लेसन वी वर स्टडिंग येस वी वर डिस्कसिंग लेसन नंबर थ्री दैट इज रॉक्स एंड सॉइल इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट द रॉक्स एंड सॉइल एंड questions based on it in the previous session we have seen question number 1 that is choose the correct answer question number 2 that is true or false and question number 3 uh, was identify the figure now today we will see fill in the blanks in the fill in the blanks two options are given gravel and humus for example so here you have to select only one correct option here i have given two options one option is correct and one option is wrong so here i will tick the correct answer but in the exam you have to click on the correct answer so let's start question number 1 dash is made up of small stone one first option is gravel and the second option is humus so what is made up of small stone yes gravel is a layer which is made up of small stone so gravel is the right answer so we will take the answer gravel yes remember student in the exam you have to click on the correct answer question number 2 dash is very important for all living things soil or rocks what is very important for all living things yes the answer is soil so i am putting a tick mark on the soil third one dash is a very big hard rock yes dash is a very big hard rock that cannot be used to write on a blackboard yes children now tell me which is a very big hard rock granite or coal yes granite is a very big hard rock so we will tick mark granite option in the exam you will click question number 4 water drains away from the space between the sand particles present in the dash soil again i am reading the question water drains away from the space between the sand particles present in the soil yes in the options sandy and clay soil is given so water drains away from which soil yes water drains away from sandy soil so we will choose the answer we will click on the answer sandy soil because particles of the sandy soils are large so water drains away easily Yes. Question number five. Dash is made from dead plants and animal. What is made from dead plants and animal? Humus or food? Yes. Humus is made from dead plants and animals. Yes. Question number six. Rotten plants and animals are called as. options are humus or soil yes rotten plants and animals are called as humus so we will tick the humus answer question number 7 dash is used for for growth of the plants humus or shelter what is used for the growth of the plant students think about the answer yes 
humus is good for the growth of the plants so we will take the answer humus yes in the exam you have to click question number 8 the tiny grains that make up rocks are called as minerals or stone yes think about this answer students minerals or stone or the tiny grains that make up rocks yes the answer is minerals we will tick on the minerals the tiny grains that make up rocks are called as minerals question number 9 dash is not a very hard rock coal or chalk which is not a very hard rock yes the answer is chalk chalk is a soft rock question number 10 the, the breaking of rocks into small pieces is called as soil or bricks yes the breaking of rocks into small pieces is called soil so we will choose the answer soil soil is the correct answer let's do the quick revision of the lesson number 4 that is our houses let's see what we are going to learn in this chapter so we will learn importance of houses types of houses material used to build houses requirement of requirements of a good houses yes we all live in our house tell me students why do we live in our houses yes because houses protect us from sun wind rain and snow it also protects you and your things from animals and bad people like thieves yes now we will see types of houses all people live in different kinds of houses some people live in flats while others live in bungalows bungalow is a very large house a very large house is called bungalow then some people live in huts houses made from straw and mud are called huts yes now we will see what are houses made of means which material are used in building houses most of the houses in the cities are built with rocks bricks cements steel wood and glass the doors and window frames are made of wood glass is used in windows to let sunlight in now we will see what are the requirements of good houses there are many requirements of a good houses there are many important important things for good houses now we will see what are they a good house a good house should have proper windows to let the sunlight in because sunlight kills the germs breathing clean air is very important the air becomes dirty when we breathe windows allow dirty air to go and clean air to come in yes then plants clean the air we should grow more plants around our houses then 
open space like verandas and balconies help us to relax and get sunlight and fresh air also the good house and the area around it should be kept clean garbage should not be thrown in open space inside or outside the house if it is thrown in open place flies and other insects will come to it and spread sickness then there should be a closed dustbin for garbage dirty water should not be allowed to collect anywhere inside or outside the house mosquitoes and germs breed in collected water and spread diseases and lastly the house should have a proper drainage system to carry away dirty water houses should have wire netting on doors and windows to to keep insects such as mosquitoes and flies away it is good to have wire netting on the doors and windows so my students we should always keep our house and the surrounding of our house clean and neat this will keep us free from diseases this is all about the lesson number f- yes now we will discuss the question and answers of lesson number 4 that is rocks and soil here question number 1 is choose the correct answer here two options are given option a and option b we have to choose the correct answer here one answer is wrong and one answer is right in the exam two or three options will be there from that you have to choose only one correct answer you will click on the correct answer so let's let's start with the question and answers question number 1 which of these is not used to build a house option a is gold and option b is bricks so which of these is not used to build a house gold or bricks yes the correct answer is gold we use bricks to build houses so the correct an- so the answer is gold we will take the gold answer but in the exam you have to click question number 2 dash is the place to relax option a balcony option b kitchen which place uh, dash is the place to relax yes balcony or kitchen yes balcony the correct answer is balcony B- balcony and veranda where we these are the place to relax question number 3 houses protect us from dash thieves or police so the correct answer is houses protect us from thieves bad people like thieves so thieves is the correct answer we will click on the thieves that is option a yes question number 4 dash is a large house option a hut option b bungalow which is a large house hut or bungalow yes the correct answer is bungalow a large house bungalow is called a large house question number 5 the dash are made of steel bricks and 
सीमेंट वॉल एंड रूफ और विंडोज एंड डोर्स वॉट आर मेड फ्रॉम स्टील ब्रिक्स एंड सीमेंट विच मट स्टील ब्रिक्स एंड सीमेंट आर यूज टू बिल्ड येस द एंसर इज वॉल्स एंड रूफ विंडोज एंड डोर्स आर मेड फ्रॉम द वुड वुड इज यूज टू मेक विंडोज एंड डोर्स ऑफ द हाउसेस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वी सी थ्रू मटेरियल यूज फॉर विंडोज इज डैश ऑप्शन ए इज ग्लास ऑप्शन बी इज स्टील विच मटेरियल इज यूज फॉर विंडोज एंड वी कैन सी थ्रू इट येस ग्लास और स्टील येस द एंसर इज ग्लास ग्लास इज अ ट्रांसपरंट मटेरियल वी कैन सी थ्रू द ग्लास एंड ग्लास इज यूज फॉर विंडोज टू मेक विंडो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन डैश इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग वॉल्स ब्रिक्स और कॉटन येस ब्रिक्स इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग वॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर एट A house made of straw is called a house made of mud and straw is called option A house boat option B hut Yes a house made of mud and straw is called hut the correct answer is hut so we will click on the we will tick on the hut answer Question number 9 wire netting keeps dash away insects or tiger yes wire netting keeps insects away so we will choose the answer a that is insect question number 10 dash carry away dirty water option a is drainage system option b is wire netting what carry away dirty water drainage system or wire netting yes think about the answer students yes drainage system carry away dirty water and wire netting helps to keeps insects and mosquitoes away so a option is the correct option yes remember students in the exam there will be two or three options from that you have to click on the correct answer today i have given the revision questions on choose the correct answer i would be giving few more revision questions on fill in the blanks uh, true or false and identify the figure for the same lesson children keep practicing the revision questions and read the lessons lesson thoroughly and i have sent the copy of the lesson too so all the best and thank you